Form of architecture in the Archipelago, and so surprisingly, that traditional house were built without any single nail. Wow, right? See that archway the based on the traditional architecture. That is the entrance. So what are we waiting for? Let's go. for this culture park are uh, divided into four categories like adults, children, students and others. Let's go in, you guys can wait to know more about this place. For those who have not been to this place yet, this place has been around for more than 30 years. And how it has been is revitalizes with cultural elements and contemporary entertainment in the line with time. The first impression when you set foot in this park is a beautiful and interesting landscape. You will be amazed with this granular scenery scenes that fit every corner and space of the park. In this Taman Mini Malaysia, there are 13 replies of traditional house that represent every state in Malaysia. Such as Johor, Kedah, Pahang and so on traditional house that also include Sabah and Sarawak. Every house is different from its design and architecture due to geographical background and culture one of the ethnic. As you can see, the uniqueness of these traditional houses built without any single nail that we call tanggam and pasak technique. Okay. Not only traditional houses in Peninsula, this place also have traditional houses in Sabah and Sarawak. Let me show you guys. Let's go!
as you can see now we are arrived at traditional houses of first Sabah and Sarawak nice and beautiful right now let's go to see more That's called Kolong is its multifunctional space where face can be held there also at X tour and Chrome's room. Do you know, this place also open to whole events such as wedding, family day, and many more. As you can see, now we are in Tunteja stage. This is where cultural performance is held for visitors. Not only that, that, there are many types of souvenir you can get in this place, but at home.
that's why I left you.